Dear students, welcome to the online class. Economics in class 11. There is a topic statistics. It means statistics is a part that it belongs to economics. Whatever statistics we read, that in lower classes, in class 10, only few extra concepts we will read besides that. So first we should know why statistics is a part of economics. That we should know why we will read statistics that is in economics. Already we have the idea in a country whatever the economical activities are going on that we have to measure because we have to know our country belongs to a developed country or underdeveloped country or a backward country. So how can we know whenever all the economical activities in a country is going on that we have to know. Suppose one activity is agriculture. So how many states they are giving importance towards agriculture otherwise agricultural activities are going on. How many people are indulged or associated with agricultural activity? Are we getting the satisfactory yields, satisfactory products from, economic, from agricultural activity or not? Similar way, in different industrial sectors, whatever the resources you are using and we are getting the outputs of products that is satisfactory or not we are getting profit or loss so everything we have to analyze for that reason statistics being a part of economics so in statistics what we will do first we have to collect the data. So first we write collection of data. Collection of data. That is the primary aim. That is the first fundamental concept of statistics. In agricultural field, how many states? They are producing or they are giving importance for rice cultivation or wheat cultivation or vegetables or horticulture, whatever may be. So that data we have to collect. So that is called collection of data. Second thing is what? Analyze. Second thing is what? Analyze. It means we have to analyze that that data what already comes to our front in a particular field which states are giving satisfactory result which states are not giving satisfactory it means unsatisfactory result that we can analyze so that is a part of statistics and third is what presentation third is called presentation. So it means we have to present in front of the people, in front of the public. This is the situation of our country. Suppose in a country already we are giving importance towards education. In education then how many percentage of people they are already 
educated it means you will say tenth class passing student will be considered as a literate person suppose actually our knowledge what any person who knows a single language right one language can speak we can take literate suppose i will say in the whole nation how many students are passed till class otherwise twelfth class whatever so that data we have to take that is called collection of data so these things are belongs to the part of statistics so in statistics we will find what whatever the data that will be represented that is generally represented by the method of you have to remember mean otherwise by median otherwise by mode that is generally data is particularly expressed data is particularly expressed in the three form so mean media or mode which is known as central tendency to measure central tendency to measure so first we analyze about mean so what is mean suppose one of the child one of the child in class 10 CBSC examination secure the following marks following marks in the subjects like hindi mathematics general science social studies english the following marks out of 100 suppose hindi 40 marks mathematics 80 marks general science 60 mark social study 60 mark english 40 marks suppose a child secure the following marks in high subjects in a examination so we have to calculate what is the arithmetic mean so what we have to do we have to Follow like this. First, we have to add the total numbers secured by the child. So we we'll get the total. It means some of the marks. Suppose this is x. We are telling x stands for the marks secured by the child. So we we'll write here summation of x. Summation of x. So what is coming that? That is coming two eight zero. Total mark secured by the child is two eight zero. In how many subjects is secured this mark? Only five. That is in total subjects five. So in five subjects the child has secured two eighty marks. So if anybody will ask us. What is the mean mark or what is the average mark? So we will say mean mark is summation of x divided by the number of subjects. Suppose number of subjects is here. How we go? What is the number of subjects? That is five. Let's say that is n. N stands for number of subjects. So we we'll get two eighty. 280 divided by 5 so that is coming 56 mark so 56 mark is the average mark so you have to remember whatever the average mark we want to get we can use this formula like this way suppose another example i am giving you
in a class suppose there are 20 students in a class there are 20 students the students in a class test in a class test secure the following marks out of 20 out of 20 20 students they appear in class test examination in a subject and they secure the following marks like that way 10 12 10 13 14 15 16 Suppose 17, 18, 10, 12, 11. write 15, I told you how many students? Number of students is 20. Number of students are 20. So all students they appear the class test and the marks secured by them is like this so you have to show the average mark of the student so how statistically we can solve so first to write here x and another pattern here frequency x means the number that is secured by the child x means the number secured by the child and frequency means particular that number how many students secure suppose i will say first 10 mark so see i will write 10 mark so how many students secure 10 marks that is out of 20 so now i will count so here c1 2 here c3 and here c4 and here c5 so five students secure 10 marks that is out of 20 so i will write frequency is what that is 5 why 5 why five? because five students secure 10 marks so what is frequency that we can say number of data that particular data how many number that is called frequency so i will write 10 is five students secure the 10 marks now to so next number secured by the child is 11 so see how much friend secured 11 1 here is 2 Here is three. So three students secure eleven marks. So you will write here three. Similar way twelve. Now you see twelve. That is secured by how many students? One. That is two. And this is three. This is four. So I will write here four students secure twelve marks. Now comes to 13 marks. So 13 marks secured by here you see one. Then here nobody. So I will write 13 marks secured by one child. So now see 14 marks. 14 marks secured by how many students? This is one. This is two. Then three. So three students secure 14 marks. Similar way you see 15 mark. 15 mark is secured by how many students? That is observe only one child. So I will write here one. Like this way 16 mark. 16 mark C. 16 mark that is. Here is one and nobody secure, so only one. Similar way, seventeen marks, seventeen 
marks secured by here each only one. So you will say one mark. Now see any check secured 18 marks? Yes. So you will say 18 is here only one. So 18 is one. So now you see no child secured 19 marks. No child secured 22, 20 marks. So this is the data in a class already we wrote how many students secure 10 marks, 11 marks, 12 marks like that. So we have to finally calculate the mean otherwise you can say average of the mark. So how can I do? Remember this x will be multiplied with a. So we will write here x into f. This is the procedure. Please remember x is the data, frequency means how many students. So you see here got 50, here got 33, here got 24, 48, here 13, here got 42, here got 15, like that way 16, 17 and 18. First, we represent the data, whatever we represent, that is correct or not, how can we know? Just you count the frequency, because already I told you, total number of students, they appear the examination, that is 20. So this data is coming, some of the data is coming 20 or not, that has to see. Already you see, 20 is coming. 5, 3, 4, 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1. If you add these numbers, 20 is coming. Therefore, already we used all the data. Whatever already presented in the question, we already used all the data. So, how can we find out the mean or average? Simply remember the sum of A that is called sigma a or summation of a that is 20 sum of a that is called sigma a now calculate all the xa that will get sigma x into a so what is coming that you see sigma x a b is equal to just to add So that is coming 252. Whenever you are adding these data, so total data, sum of the data is coming 252. So sigma x that is coming 252. So what is the average mark? Average mark of the class is sigma x a divided by sigma a. It means 252 divided by 20. So that is coming just after the division. You have to write whatever the result. 252 divided by 2, 0. So that is coming 12.6. That is coming 12.6. So you will say this is the average mark or mean mark of the class. Similarly, this data can be represented in another way. 
this is called ungrouped data this representation is known as ungrouped why individually we take 10 mark secret by 5 student 11 mark three student so this is individually individually we take the data therefore we can say calculation of mean that is for on group data in this way we can represent the arithmetic mean for a on group data so we can also represent the data in a group group data method so in a group data method what can we do we can write how many students secure 10 to 10 to suppose 15 marks how many students secure the marks started from 10 and ending with 15 then we will say how many students secured the marks that is started from 16 and ending with 20 so if we will calculate like this way that will come in grouped division method because this is called ungrouped method otherwise you can say discrete data method this is called discrete data or ungrouped data but whenever we write how many students secure 10 to 15 marks that is one calculation and after that how much student how many students 16 to 20 mark that is that data again we will take and after that we will follow the calculation so that is known as grouped method that is that is known as what grouped because we are doing the group method so that calculation also if we will do the same answer we will get but mean is generally calculated mean is generally calculated remember by three methods what are the three methods one is this type of method which is known as direct method which is known as direct method and second is second is say like suppose 10 to 15 16 to 20 and after that we follow some other method in order to calculate the mean that method you have to remember that is say assuming 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 mean mean method otherwise that is also called that is also called of uh, assuming method otherwise you can say shortcut method otherwise you can say shortcut method and third is known as step deviation method step deviation method so first we have to analyze the data either in discrete method or either in discrete way discrete way means individually otherwise in a grouped way then out of three methods we can use any method for the calculation of mean that may be direct method that may be assuming mean method also that is known as shortcut method and third method is step deviation method so in next class we will discuss about shortcut method for the calculation of mean otherwise called that is assuming mean method and also regarding step deviation method how can we calculate the mean and that method i adopted here for a ungrouped data is known as direct method here that method i have followed that is known as direct method and for a ungrouped question and similarly if we use the assuming mean method 
as your let's deviation method then also we will get the same answer so today class up to this we have to remember dear children so we have tax for you regarding this calculation of mean please you write in a certain class in a certain class fifteen students secure the following marks in english find the mean mark here is x here is f f means frequency x means the marks given by the students so first you see out of full mark that is out of 30 Full mark out of thirty, fifteen. Some students secure seventeen, nineteen, twenty-two, twenty-five. Only these marks are secured by them. How many students? Already I told fifteen students. So fifteen students. Here is four students. Here is three students. So, fifteen marks secured by four students. Seventeen mark secured by three students. Nineteen mark secured by two students. Twenty-two mark secured by three students. Twenty-five mark again secured by three students. So you have to calculate the mean for the following marks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.